guys are uh, five and one at home during this stretch. Just what's been clicking? Just playing some good basketball. Uh, thinking about the first half and how you guys started, and then how the Hornets clawed their way back into it, made it a one-point game. Just what did you see that allowed them to actually open the door and keep it open? Uh, they went on some runs where uh, we missed some shots, and we gave up a lot of easy uh, looks. And they just got it going. They got in the rhythm, and then in the fourth quarter, they were just playing with a lot of, a lot of comfort. Um, and we just got to uh, really be prepared for other teams' best shots, even you know if they're coming in and they're not playing as well throughout the season. You know they're still talented, so uh, just got to pay our respects and, and play the game the right way. You and um, my bad, Brian. You and you and Terry have a relationship that goes back to Boston. Just every time you match up, it seems like you guys go back and forth. What's that? What's that like playing against him? Uh, amazing, amazing. Um, you know, I wish we would have won a championship together uh, with that squad that we had in Boston because uh, you see just how talented we all are as individuals now, you know, now that some of us are on different teams. Um, but uh, we, we, taught a lot each we taught a lot to each other. Uh, I was pushing him. He was pushing me, uh, you know, every day in practice uh, and in games. Um, you know, we just tried to run the team the right way. But now that we're going against each other, it's, it's special, man. You know, again, seeing these, these guys grow over the years and, and – um, you know, just become more confident. It's amazing to see. Going back to your earlier answer, um, I think they shot whatever about sixty percent or what have you in the, in the fourth quarter. Was that is that more what they did and found things that were working for them offensively, or is that more just natural human nature? You guys taking your foot off the gas a little bit against a shorthanded team, where you knew the lead was pretty sizable. I could agree with that statement. The size of a lead, uh, we took our foot off the gas pedal. Um, but, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They, they definitely came out and hit us in the mouth in the second half. They were, they were playing with a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, for us, it, it wasn't so much just about the Charlotte Hornets. It's about us establishing our defensive principles. And, again, we had a chance to do that tonight, and we gave up a lead. And, um, you know, nights like this, you, you feel great winning. But how we won, we definitely want to improve on that. And, um, you know, obviously, when you go against Boston and then you go against Charlotte back to back, you know, two games, you see the glaring differences between, you know, when you're playing hard and you're not playing hard enough. Uh, so I think that's just a look in the mirror and a reality check, and we just got to continue to get better throughout the season. Kyrie, Steve Clifford was saying before the game, as far as preparation and passion go, the only guy he could compare to Kobe was Kevin. I know you have a, a, a strong relationship and built one with Kobe, have one with Kevin. Do you see the similarities in how they prepare uh, as you have got to know both guys through the years? Um, I think if you look at people that want greatness, uh, will sacrifice their time with their families, their friends, and do everything possible in order to give everything they have to what they love to do, to their craft, uh, they have similarities. And I don't think it's just Kobe and, and KD. I just think when you see greatness and, and you wonder how people continue to do it year after year, you, you have to look at the hours that are put in, the way that they prepare, uh, and how serious they take what they do. Um, and they're very competitive, Kobe and, and KD. Um, you know, obviously with Kobe transitioning in the last uh, few years, uh, you know, he would definitely be giving us some gems to continue on. Um, and you can tell that Kay got a lot of advice from him and watched him a lot. Uh, so you could definitely see the, the similarities. Um, and they're both great, and they're willing to do anything. Uh, they're willing to do what it takes to win ball games, And that's who you want on your team every single night. You know, you could depend on someone like that. Kyrie, speaking of Kevin, you guys went to that 1-5 uh, pick and roll. Uh, late in the fourth, I believe, or maybe we were to the fourth, a small lineup. Just what allows you guys to kind of get into that? And I think Jacques said he wished you guys maybe were able to get to it more often, but you guys haven't been able to. Just what do you see? That's a good play. That's a good play. Um, Kev's a big target, so it's easy to find him, uh, especially when teams are, uh, you know, throwing their defensive uh, looks at us. Um, but we, we definitely should get to it a lot more, and we'll see down the, you know, as we continue on. But it's definitely a high-efficient play. And uh, me and him coming off screen and roll with each other and being aggressive and making plays, um, it's one of the good plays for our team. Uh, it depends on the look. Uh, I think um, you know if we break down the film today, Charlotte was showing a lot after the second quarter. And as we look in the third and fourth, 
Uh, they made some adjustments to hit Kev, double team him when I was out of the game. Uh, so every time he came to screen for me, he was screened on a specific angle. And then when I screen for him, I'm just getting out and rolling, knowing that they're going to try to trap him. So it just depends on the look that teams are throwing at it. I mean, just adjust.